have reduced the structure into this format which is resembling with the formula that you have already written for you. This is now applying the formula tan inverse x is equal to 4 by 3 plus 1 by 7 upon 1 minus 1 minus 4 by 3 into 1 by 7 resulting tan inverse 7 fours are 28 plus 3 upon 21 upon 21 minus 4 17 upon 21 the 21 21 cancel you get tan inverse 31 upon 17 which is the required right hand side of the problem. Well dear children now we are going for the second uh, type of problems they are type 2 problems in fact this is called simplifying simplifying inverse trigonometric functions. How to go about this? Let us take a problem. Simplify tan inverse cos x minus sin x upon cos x plus sin x. It is quite interesting. The, the inverse trigonometric function inside the bracket whatever you have, it is a very interesting derivation that I am going to derive it for, for you. I write it is tan inverse and this I take cos from the numerator as well as denominator. What I get is 1 minus tan x upon cos x 1 plus tan x. I hope you understand this. The cos and the cos have gone. You get tan inverse x is equal to 1 minus tan x upon 1 plus tan x. Interestingly, this structure is likely to take tan formula. What is the tan formula going to be? tan pi by 4 of course you know tan pi by 4 is 1 tan 45 is 1 minus tan x upon 1 plus tan pi by 4 into tan x. What I did basically in this problem I have ruled out the 1, 1 has become in this format. So, the whole structure has changed tan a minus tan b upon 1 plus tan a tan b which is a known formula for us that is tan inverse tan a minus b is going to be. Then the tan inverse of tan is like f, f inverse circle f of x is equal to x the formula of inver invertibility you get pi by 4 minus x. This is the simplest form simplest form of the given expression which is this is a given expression tan inverse cos x minus sin x upon cos x plus sin x. It is very difficult to assume this format as this unless you have practiced these problems. You look at that tan inverse is being an angle you got exactly an angle. This is an indication how you have to simplify the inverse trigonometric functions. Well, now we are going for type 3 sort of problems. What is type 3? Finding values. Very interesting. Finding values. How do you go about it? I will take a simple problem for you to understand. Question is tan inverse 2 cos 2 sin inverse 1 by 2. This problem really interesting for us because it is 2 sin inverse 1 by 2 having tan inverse outside. Supposing that I take some angle say theta, now I am trying to find out the value of theta because we know that inverse trigonometric functions are always the angles. Now, how to get this solution? What I do here cos 2 sin inverse this is exactly what I am finding is this particular structure is in the format of 2 sin inverse x is equal to sin inverse 2x root under 1 minus x square. This formula I would be applying here so that I get sin inverse 2x 2 into 1 by 2 that is 2 1 by 2 into root under 1 minus 1 by 4 resulting this is the rule I have applied please remember tan inverse 2 cos sin inverse 
2 2 cancel it is going to be root 3 by 2 very interesting when it was in this format I could not substitute anything there over but when I has uh, no sooner it is reduced to this format I have a chance to reduce this into the pimple the principal value that is tan inverse 2 cos it is going to be pi by 3 we know that sin inverse root 3 by 2 is equal to pi by 3 the principal value branch it belongs to minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 well we know cos pi by 3 cos 60 is 1 by 2 tan inverse 2 cos 2 cos pi by 3 pi by 3 is 1 by 2 you get 2 2 cancel you get tan inverse 1 is equal to pi by 4 it is quite interesting problem to see that such a big structure got reduced to theta is equal to pi by 4 this is how we have to find out the values of inverse trigonometric functions this is the kind of a problem the type of problems you deal in your inverse trigonometric functions as well well i am taking another problem of finding the values of inverse trigonometric functions this problem seem to be a bit different that is tan half sin inverse 2x upon 1 plus x square plus cos inverse 1 minus y square upon 1 plus y square while the conditions are modulus x is less than 1 y greater than 0 and x y is less than 1 why these conditions have been given also will be explained to you now in this particular structure i take this particular one this is a direct formula what is that formula formula 1 is sin inverse 2x upon 1 plus x square is equal to 2 tan inverse x this we have already dealt now we have another formula this is the second formula it is also like this formula 2 is cos inverse 1 minus y square upon 1 plus y square is equal to 2 tan inverse y so incidentally i have both the formulas in terms of tan with a 2 as a multiplier so i take these two structures into the formula then resulting what i am going to get is a tan 1 by 2 into 2 tan inverse x plus 2 tan inverse y this 2 being a common factor when it comes out of the bracket gets cancelled with the 2 resulting the 2 2 2 cancel you get tan of tan inverse x plus tan inverse y which is equal to tan of tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus x y is uh, in fact what it is appearing to be this is nothing but f circle f inverse of x is equal to x the rule so based on this rule i come to a conclusion these two gets off and leaving this result x plus y upon 1 minus x y interestingly this is the condition which is a prevalent to x less than 1 y great less greater than 0 and x y less than 1 because of this prop this value you are going to get these conditions are prevalent well dear children this is one of the important most important problems from the examination point of view but dealing with this problem is bit typical we will be de dealing with first of all whatever the structure that is inside i shall be taking now this particular structure and this structure separately and will be showing you how i am going to deal with root under 1 plus sin x i will be writing root under cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 plus 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 here this is the angles multi sub multiples angles formula from your cluster 11th trigonometry so it is 1 cos square theta plus sin square theta and sin x is written in this format which you all together can write here cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 whole square these two are cancelled you get cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 similarly similarly we can write 1 minus sin x as cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 as well 
Now, what I get here cos x by 2 minus sin x, these two values I would be substituting in this expression of the left hand side. LHS is equal to cot inverse, what exactly I am going to get here it is cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 plus cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 upon cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 minus cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 resulting this this cancel this this cancel I get cot inverse it is going to be 2 cos x by 2 and 2 sin x by 2. So, a 2 2 cancel I get cot inverse cot x by 2 that is cot inverse of cot gets cancelled you get what required in the RHS. Thank you. We will be now taking up one more problem prove that 9 pi by 8 minus 9 by 4 sin inverse 2 root 2 by 3 is equal to sorry uh, it is 1 by 3 sin 1 by 3 is equal to sin inverse 2 root 2 by 3 with 9 by 4 standing outside. Well, now in order to prove this problem, I need to make a small modification in the structure itself. What I shall try to do is that I will take this to the right hand side. The modification makes this entire problem into 9 by 4 sin inverse 2 root 2 by 3 plus sin inverse 1 by 3 is equal to 9 pi by 8. Dear students, here what I am going to do in this particular area, I will be applying sin inverse x plus sin inverse y is equal to sin inverse x root under 1 minus y square plus y root under 1 minus x square. By applying this particular formula and simplifying after applying this formula, I will be simplifying. What I will get is 9 by 4 sin inverse 1. Sin inverse 1 is equal to 9 by 4. Sin inverse 1 is pi by 2 resulting 9 pi by 8 which is the required right hand side or modified right hand side. Have you understood it? Well, dear students, this problem I will be doing in second method. Just watch how many methods in mathematics we have got. Let us see this expression again. 9 by 4 sin inverse 2 root 2 by 3 plus sin inverse 1 by 3. This is the expression that is on the left hand side. What I shall be doing is this one I change into cos inverse. Now sin inverse 1 by 3 is equal to theta then 1 by 3 is equal to sin theta cos theta is equal to root under 1 minus sin square theta is resulting root under 1 minus 1 by 9 that is 8 by 9 under root which is 2 root 2 by 3. That means cos theta is equal to 2 root 2 by 3 then theta is equal to cos inverse 2 root 2 by 3. Taking this expression in this what I get again left, left hand side gets modified 9 by 4 sin inverse 2 root 2 by 3 plus cos inverse 2 root 2 by 3. This structure what you are finding inside the uh, bracket resembles the formula sin inverse theta plus cos inverse theta is equal to pi by 2. So, without any simplification much of efforts as we did in the previous case, we will directly write it is pi by 2 applying this rule that is equal to 9 pi by 8 which is the right hand side. Thank you. Well, we are coming to the last and final type of inverse trigonometric functions type 4. What is that we are going to do here? Solving inverse trigonometric functions. What does it exactly mean? Solving inverse trigonometric functions in the sense we are trying to find out the value of the x. That is the main motive. Solving means solving for x. So, what, how and we are, we, are, we are going to complete this problem? Watch it. When you want to solve these two, the, this equation, you have to take both the sides of the equation. Now, look at this, it is 2 tan inverse cos x. Instead of taking this as 2 tan inverse cos x, let us convert this into this particular format by applying a formula here. What is it? 2 tan inverse x is equal to tan inverse 2x upon 1 minus x square the rule. So, this particular rule will facilitate me that tan inverse 
टू एक्स एक्स के बदले में आई गेट कॉस एक्स अपॉन दैट वन माइनस कॉस स्क्वायर एक्स इज इक्वल टू द राइट हैंड साइड इज अनटच्ड इट रिमेन्स एज यूजल नाउ इट इज टैन इनवर्स टू कॉस एक्स अपॉन साइन एक्स इज इक्वल टू टैन इनवर्स टू कोसिकेंट एक्स दिस रिजल्टिंग टैन इनवर्स टू कॉस एक्स अपॉन सॉरी दिस इज साइन स्क्वायर टू कॉस एक्स बाई साइन स्क्वायर एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू कॉट एक्स इन टू कोसिकेंट एक्स इज इक्वल टू टैन इनवर्स टू कोसिकेंट एक्स द टैन एंड द टैन इनवर्स एंड टैन इनवर्स गेट्स लॉस्ट आउट ऑफ दिस फ्रे देन यू गेट टू कॉट एक्स इन टू कोसिकेंट एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू कोसिकेंट एक्स Here again the cancellation, the cosecant x and cosecant x, two and two gets cancelled. The result is cot x is equal to one, which I can write as cot pi by four. This is cot x. X is equal to pi by four. This is what solving the difference, the inverse trigonometric functions. This value is called solution of the equation given. Thank you. well well dear students we have now understood complete inverse trigonometric functions and their solving the problems whatever given to us whatever being taught in the class session they are not sufficient as far as mathematics inverse trigonometric functions are concerned it is going to come for a minimum of 4 and to a maximum of 6 marks in the cbse examination however you need to have ample practice over the topic otherwise doing this exercise doing this problems is not an easy task i hope that you will work out on your own the certain problems and you do consult your the teacher concerned and get the solutions for the problems thank you very much and have a nice time